Hi y'all, I'm Allison and welcome to the Mighty Bujo. Today we're setting up the March cover page for my bullet journal and the theme of this go round will be clocks or time. So I'm starting out with a grandfather clock and there will also be a wall clock over there on the right and an hourglass on this page. Now I am really proud of how this one turns out because it is the first time that I didn't watch a video showing me exactly how to draw my image. So this one I just did all by my little lonesome and I'm super proud of it. So I do have a wall grandfather clock hanging in my front hall but it doesn't have the floor case, so I kind of loosely based it on that. My hourglass, I had a little bit of trouble getting the glass in the center, but I wasn't too concerned about it because this is just a rough outline for when I get the watercolors. And I briefly toyed with the idea of making this three-dimensional, but I wasn't quite sure how to carry it all the way across, and I didn't want to get too complicated with it since I am doing all this free form. So I'm I think it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with the clocks this month. So within my weekly pages and my monthly setup I'll have like the little bedside alarm clocks, some digital clocks, um, watches, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Now I will be using Koi watercolors and here's the little brush that comes with it. It has a cap so you can keep water in it and the lid twists on backwards so you won't accidentally unscrew it while you're painting, which I love. You don't want it, your pen to come apart while you're twisting your hand around and all of a sudden have a puddle of water on your page. Now I am keeping the palette and my mixing tray in screen for the entire video so you can see how much paint I'm picking up and how I blend my colors. Now over here I'm trying to follow the advice of all the videos I've ever watched on watercoloring and they always say to build your colors gradually, do soft layers, and start with your lighter color. So that's why I started with the yellow there. I was trying to incorporate some highlights for later on and then I realized you know, I'm overcomplicating it and I just stopped worrying about all of that stuff and just started painting. Although I did keep my layers of paint a lot lighter than I normally did and I'm building them up gradually and it really works. It makes a difference. And added benefit, I didn't even have to pull out my heat gun this time to dry my page. So since the paint is on there so lightly with minimal water, it was drying relatively quickly. I am so happy with how this turns out at the end. Now I will, after I get the rest of my March pages up, I will be doing a follow-up video showing how well your watercolors will hold up in your bullet journal over time. I would have done this video earlier, but I wanted to see how well my Cupid is going to do. So by next Wednesday, I should have that one up and ready for y'all. And as you can see, the, just by layering it, the color has more depth, the clock does, and I really like the effect it gives. Here I'm just kind of trying to smooth it out a little bit. So yeah, definitely use a light hand and build your layers. Also, I didn't have, when it's all finished, the page is still smooth. It doesn't have that grainy texture that it will eventually have if you oversaturate your page with paint. Thank you. 
oh and for future videos let me know if y'all find it beneficial to see the paint mixing on here and all the times I'm dabbing to pick up more paint or if you just would prefer that be edited out for a shorter video I'd like to have this as useful and informative for everybody as possible without wasting time so just let me know also if you're new to my channel this is my eighth time to do a watercolor so I am definitely learning and improving so if you've always been intimidated by it and you're not confident in your own artistic skills just give it a go you'll be surprised at how well you know you improve just by doing it Okay, now here I'm using gray that was the one thing I did look at before starting this page was how to show glass and while what you do is you want to have gray in them for like your highlights to show a reflective surface you leave that part blank without any color and originally I was going to try and get all fancy and have a bunch of highlights and shadows but I was just like okay that's a little bit above my level at this point so I just did a little bit of a gray wash and eventually I hope to be able to achieve really good reflective surfaces but for now I'm quite happy with it and I was really surprised you'll notice during this entire video I am not changing brush brush sizes this is all done with the brush that came with this watercolor kit and by just dipping my brush directly into the paint pod without any extra water in there I was able to get really fine dark lines which I think make all of the difference in this so I was really surprised I didn't think I'd be able to get a thin line like this And I think those lines are what makes this image really come to life. Oh, and if anybody's curious, I picked this up at Michael's, the Koi, it's the field um, pocket, oh god, now I'm playing on the name, anyways, 24 colors, and I think it was like 20 bucks, it was very reasonably priced, and this is the one I've been using since I started, and you can tell most of the paint, I, I've barely even, you know, used anything up. Except for the white. My white's getting a little low. I will have the full name of it down in the description box. Over here this is a wall clock and this is one that my dad had on his wall in his uh, office he worked at the house and every time I see it I think of him and it makes me smile and here's my hourglass this one yeah, yeah, I think it turns out good in the end, but I did uh, have a little bit of trouble with the glass section in the middle. But by using the gray, I really like gray wash, I think it works. There I 
could just use a paper towel to erase. Since the paint was so light, it worked. Here, I think the sand would have looked better if I would have left it at that point or right around in here I do come back in and try and smooth it out a little bit but I should have left it because this has more texture and um, dimension to it which I think shows the sand falling a little bit better but that's okay Originally, I thought I was going to have to do these numbers with a pen, but again, I was really surprised at how sharp of a line you can get with this and brush pen. So yeah, here's my whatever clock time. It's my Achilles heel. I'm always behind as a proficient procrastinator. Yeah, we're going to try and tackle time this month. And we also have the time change. March 11th, the clocks go ahead an hour. <sighs> yeah, I'm never going to hit my 7 a.m. wake up time. But that's okay. Here I'm just doing little dots to give it a chain look. Yeah, here's where I kind of smoothed out the sand and I wish I hadn't done this part but I think it still looks good I think it just had a little bit more dimension originally and sorry for part of the image being out of screen okay here now it's time for all the line work I wasn't confident that I could get the numbers on the clock originally I was going to put all 12 and then I decided it looked best just doing the 12 3 6 and 9 and there's a little gap. I didn't want to put the whole brush back together, so I just grabbed the tip. But the outlines always bring everything to life. And I just love how this clock turned out. I'm so very proud of it. Now, it may not be obvious, but I am switching between the size M and size S on the Fabricastel pencils, or pens rather, to get like a thicker line on the um, main edges, and then I went for a thin one like on the glass case and for the little detail areas, like for the pendulum and stuff. Now, I, hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be setting up my March pages today and tomorrow, and I will have that video up for y'all on Saturday. So if you'd like to see how I incorporate the rest of this theme through my month, then be sure and hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for the next video. And if you've done a cover page for yours or planning to and have a theme in mind for March, let me know down in the comments what you're going to be doing. Sorry if you can hear that scratching, that's my husky, she's at my feet and her nails are scratching on the plastic under the chair. Hey okay, here I'm getting a little clever. So we've got time, marches on for my March cover page. Get it? I thought that was quite clever. Anyway, there it is. I just love this one. It is my absolute favorite. And I'm so proud I did it all on my own. So anyway, I hope y'all like this. Keep an eye out Saturday for my 
monthly setup. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.